In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can stop the sway in your backswing and also show you the proper way to start your downswing. Hey there, my golfing family. Wes Alta's back again, and I got another tip for you. So a lot of golfers that I see will have a tendency during their backswing, and I think this comes through um, kind of bad golf instruction articles where the coach submits something and then someone else writes for them, and I think it gets uh, a little construed on what's supposed to happen. So we hear a lot of, in instruction uh, magazines, we'll hear the, you know, load into your right side. And I think what that happens, it doesn't come across right to everyone who reads it, is they're thinking they're moving their body weight over. Now you can see when I do that, I have to really move my right hip out over my foot and even gets outside of it. That's giving you a false sense of how to properly move the pressure. The pressure and weight are two different things. So the pressure is actually me turning into the ground. You can still see how I have a very uh, centered pivot. So when I'm doing that, you can actually, if you do it correctly, you can actually feel your uh, trail foot kind of grip into the ground in this direction. So as I'm turning back, my right foot's really gripping into the ground this way, but I'm keeping a nice inclination of my hips or tilt to my hips, which then will allow me to uh, slide my hips forward a little bit and then turn and extend. So being able to kind of load back into the ground, turn and extend, that's what's gonna help me produce a lot of power. Look at uh, Rory McIlroy's swing is a great one to look at. He does a wonderful job of staying nice centered. He really grips the ground, kind of slides into this front foot and then turns and explodes. So here's a great drill for you guys to start getting that sensation in. So what I got here, I just got an alignment stick on the ground. I do have it turned out because in my setup, and I do prefer this for most golfers, is have the feet flared out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and step on this rod that's on the ground. You can use a club, whatever. And I'm making sure this is pretty much in the middle of my foot. So I can feel my foot go both ways on this. This is gonna give me the sensation if I do happen to you know, do a weight shift like this, I'm gonna feel the outside of my right foot hit the ground. What I wanna feel, since right now I'm you know, 50-50 in between my foot, as I'm taking this back, I actually wanna feel the instep of my right foot on the ground. So again, I'm gonna go here, get it up to the top, feel the instep, and now I'm gonna keep that instep on the ground as I start shifting my hips forward. So you can see I'm banking the foot in, and then from there, since I'm loading into the ground, now I have something to jump off of and be able to turn and extend through. So do this drill, this is really, really gonna help you guys do it without a ball first, and then go out to the range and give this a try. But have this on here when you hit balls. I can't tell you enough to help develop that feel in is gonna be super important. So I hope this drill helps you all get rid of that nasty slide in the backswing. And if you guys uh, need me to elaborate on that at all, leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Continue to stay safe, everyone, and I look forward to seeing everyone real soon.